as we start another hot and humid week, a little less than what we've seen, but still hot and humid out there. Experts warn that these conditions aren't just impacting how we feel, but when it comes to students, how they learn. CBS 8's Shannon Handy spoke to a UC San Diego professor about a series of studies that show when the temperature rises, test scores drop. UC San Diego has conducted several studies on this topic. The lead author tells me with global warming, conditions will continue to heat up, which is why we need to address the problem before it gets any worse. I constantly had a focus and such discomfort. Jordan Pickney is a senior at Castle Park High School in Chula Vista. While classrooms there do have air conditioning, he says the transition from outside to inside during this heat wave has been brutal. I feel disgusting when I'm sweating outside and I sit in a classroom to have all of that stuff dry back on me. Jordan's experience isn't surprising, says UC San Diego professor Joshua Graf Zivin. We're talking about real impairment in cognitive performance. He's been researching this very topic for years, specifically how weather impacts students' learning and test scores. Once we hit the 80s, we see detriments in performance and those detriments get bigger and bigger as the temperature gets hotter. Graf Stephen says several studies have proven this to be true starting from elementary school through college. One example is a study that originated in China looking at how students there performed on the national college entrance exam. And if you look at the evidence over many, many years, it looks like those who get a bad draw and take the test on a hot week do worse and get deprived of going to the most elite universities in the country. As for why kids do worse in the heat, Graf Zivin says lack of concentration and focus plays a role, but it's more physiological than anything else. Chemicals are moving back and forth to tell our neurons what to do, and it turns out the performance of this fantastic organ we all carry around in our head is sensitive to temperature. Graf Zivin says with global warming, more extreme heat waves will become the norm here in San Diego. And while investments in infrastructure such as air conditioning will help, he suggests schools be more flexible when it comes to scheduling tests, similar to how some surf competitions are planned. M is going to be in this three week window, but we're going to pay attention to the weather forecast and decide when exactly you're going to take this exam to give you the best opportunity to perform as well as you can. Jordan Pigney likes that idea, saying when it's this hot, any Anything to alleviate students' stress during these conditions would be a welcome change. Teeter-totter of weather changes doesn't help at all when it comes to achieving academic success. Shanna Handy, CBS 8.